Pisces, it's L here to do your a quick reading for you. Um, this reading is going to be about love and romance and then career and finance. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Pisces. All right, so let's see what's going on for my Pisces collective. All right, so let's start with uh, career and finance. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, career and finance for Pisces. What's going on for a career? All right, so the King of Swords, making a head over heart decision. Uh, making some really good decisions in your business or your career. Um, really ambitious, okay, says the King of Swords. It also says you, you succeed in, in your plans because you're attached to the outcome. So it's like you, you really are, your productivity is high because of your reputation you know you, you care about it you care about the the product or you care about what you produce what you attach your name to you also could be very eloquent with your speech maybe even strategic let's see um the king of the queen of swords all right so um you're you might be wearing a lot of hats especially if you in your own business um and maybe even at someone else's business, you're wearing a lot of different hats. You're playing a lot of different parts here. You're an executive. You're making uh, decisions for maybe the whole. You're also maybe tearing down old dynamics and structures, maybe in a career. Um, this is like coming in and like uh, white glove in somebody's business and you need to change this. You need to change that, you know, or maybe you are over making um, like different rules and uh regulations and ethics and you know code of conduct here um let's see you have the nine of cups here whatever it is it's making you very happy because you are the boss you get to be the boss um you live a maybe a life of luxury you do what you want to do um there's a, a an emotional element to what it is you do you offer some type of um care or fun or there's an element of just leisure the nine of swords, you could stay up late at night or there is pain or there has been pain or maybe something is messing with your sleep habits or your sleep, your sleep. This could be shift work. Also, you could do shift work um, <clears throat> or maybe you, you work a night shift. Um, yeah, the tower, all of a sudden something comes in and shakes up the hierophant. Maybe all of a sudden you get an offer from maybe a large company entity, somebody wanting to partner with you. Um, someone wants to make something larger, bigger, maybe offer you guidance, maybe guidance in terms of how to make it bigger, larger on, on a main scale. The sun card, it looks like it's positive. Um, somebody may want you to be a part of a panel, a part of something here. Um, the sun card, uh, it looks like it is, it's positive. You also could be you work with other people you work with family you work with people you like the sun card um high level of achievement here too high level of achievement um maybe you're going to not work with other people or you don't want to work with other people um sun card the sun card marriage i mean it's all things happy it's all things good so think of the best thing happening to you. There's you, the hangman, and then the temperance card. Um, maybe you're going to have to make some sacrifice. Some of you don't want to work with people. You don't want to work with uh, friends or family. Um, you're going to let somebody down easy. You're going to have to try to salvage the relationship by way of maybe compromising or giving something away. Or, or somebody's asking you to change maybe something about you. You have to think about it. Yeah, you have to think about it with the Seven of Pentacles. You have to ponder this. You have to look over this. You have to think about what it is, it, what is important to you, you know? Yeah, you're thinking about what's important to you in terms of um, your business or in terms of how you want things to go, the Five of Swords. Something that's causing a lot of interference, maybe within your work, or there's a lot of backbiting, there's a lot of bad blood, or um, there's a lot of fighting or infighting. The Ten of Wands here, um, you could have been, 
be under a lot of pressure, a lot of success here. It's almost as if you don't know where something is going. You, you got to kind of think about the direction now, where it's going, how it's going to turn out. Um, you got to think on your feet. Um, you have to think about who you allow in your business to um, with the Ten of Wands. You're kind of on autopilot or you've been on autopilot. The Two of Pentacles and things have been up in the air. You just left them there for whatever reason. Let's talk about love. It looks like career is going well for you or it has gone very well for you. And now you're at a transitional phase or point in your life where you have to think about where you're taking this now, where you're taking the business or where you're taking this business that you work for or what it is you're doing. Um, let's see what love offers you. What offer, what does uh, love have to offer the Pisces collective? Let's see. What, let's see what it. What do you want to tell Pisces in terms of love? All right, let's see. Okay, dangerous person. This is coming out for everybody. Dangerous person, watch your back. All right, so this could just be haters, maybe in terms of your love life. Maybe somebody doesn't like what you're doing or they don't like how you're doing it or they don't like who you're with or they want you to break up or um, they're in your business. This came out not physically attracted to my partner. So some of you could um, not be attracted to your partner any longer because of, I don't know, um, maybe the way they act, the way they look, the way they dress, the way they smell. You've been with them too long. Um, this card wants to come out. Uh, maybe there's somebody who can't get over you or you can't get over someone here, right? Um, somebody, you can't get over something that somebody did. Somebody can't get over something that you did also. Yeah, Mean Girl Club. So... Um, maybe you have a, a group of women that, uh, you know, hate on you or you're a part of this group of women that hate on other people, hate on other people's relationships. Um, maybe somebody is mean spirited. Somebody is just, um, not nice. Um, just not pleasant to be with. Somebody's having some vivid dreams about maybe what you did or what you didn't do. Somebody is, um, this relationship has got a lot of issues, a lot of problems. It's like you're trying to continue to stay together but and not deal with the issue yeah weekend getaway maybe somebody did something when they got it when they went away or somebody is kind of keeping the relationship you know at bay to where it's just more so about okay i come and hang out with you do do you do whatever with you on the weekend or when i have time or it's a part-time relationship it's not full-time somebody could be you know dealing with sexual addiction and maybe infertility issues. Now, it could be infertility in terms of not able to reproduce. Or this is just someone who um, doesn't, they lack the capacity to cultivate a relationship, to actually fertilize the relationship, to make it grow, make it strong. They don't want to do that. They don't know how to do it. And therefore, um, they're infertile in terms of relationship. Somebody could be an IG model or a fashion model. They get a lot of attention online. They're super independent lady. Um, a girl boss and it maybe makes it hard for them to kind of um, tie themselves or tie themselves with anybody else someone could feel like they are you know with an in they're intellectual and they're with an idiot somebody feels like the other person is materialistic as f there could be a side person here who somebody is in love with um somebody feels like you're absolutely gorgeous um it may be that you have the best sex ever ever I mean, ever. Okay. Um, let's leave you with one, one card <clears throat> for Pisces, one card for Pisces from the butterfly Oracle deck with these cards for life. So you got a decision to make here. You need to get some rest. You are, you're sleeping, but you're not resting. Your mind is still going. You might need to take a retreat, go on a retreat. Definitely have some decisions to make, especially in your career and finance. It just looks like you're, you're kind of bogged down with a lot of different decisions in love and romance. It just seems as if it's kind of chaotic, but you're still dealing with it. It's okay. All right. So, um, that's what we have here for Pisces. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section, go over to the website, book there, book your own reading. Um, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Come learn the tarot with me. Classes are linked below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Um, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.